Hi everybody, I was never going to do a review for the Surface Pro 3. The reason being, I came a bit late to this party. Uh, the Surface Pro 3 had been out for a while, and let's face it, there was already a lot of reviews online. Um, a lot of people had already talked about this piece of kit, and I didn't see a reason to add a review to the pile already there. A few artists had already done a review as well, so what was the point? However, this has been given a new lease of life now with Windows 10 and with what's just come out, Coral Painter 2016. Um, okay, I'm going to float the boat on this one because obviously I had a bit of a hand with this um, being a beta tester for it and also creating um, some of the new brushes that have just come out for this. If you have one of these or are looking at a good alternative to a laptop, um, if you use a Wacom for instance, then this is absolutely brilliant. I use one of these on a day-to-day -day basis and let's just take this off. Yeah, we don't need that. No, actually we do. Um, but this is an absolutely great piece of kit. And I say that about a lot of things, to be honest. But yeah, it is one of my take everywheres with me. Why? Because, let's face it, if I'm out and about and I want to do some drawing, I do have an iPad. I have tried every app that you can get for the iPad, and it's finger painting. Anyway you cut it, there are lots of different pens out there, and some of them are really expensive and are a little better than others, but mm, it's finger painting even with some of the more expensive pens. I've tried a couple of them and unless somebody wants to, you know, show me one of the pens that they think is even better, no, I don't think anybody's gonna convince me. Anything I've tried, it's, nah, it's still not gonna be as good as this. The, the Entrig pen that this comes with is is pretty sweet. Um, I'm using Wacom technology every day, so you know, for something to come anywhere near to my expectations, yeah. Okay, it's never going to replace my Wacom, but if I'm out and about and I have to sketch something, you don't hear me complaining. I have had times where. I've been away for a couple of days and I've had to carry on working. At a push, it's good enough. It's never going to replace my Wacom Centique, obviously, but for a couple of days, maybe a week, I can do it. So, you know, that size screen. I did have one of the smaller Centiques, the 13 inch, for a time. and. You know, that was my first kind of Cintiq experience, and that was okay. And that much like this, you know, it's a small screen size that's killing me. But, you know, now that I'm on a, a, a Cintiq that big, you know, if this was that big, it would probably be brilliant. You know, it's not the specs of this that's killing me, it's a small screen size and I'm more of a Mac user, but all in all, it's a pretty decent machine. It runs Photoshop absolutely fine, and it runs Coral Painter. There's also a few other apps on this, well, pretty much one, that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so let's talk about those apps. Okay, so on my Surface Pro 3, one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about was, boom, Coral Painter 2016. They've just redone Coral Painter totally for the Surface Pro. Well, not just for the Surface Pro, but for all tablets. Obviously, tablets are a big thing now. And yeah, uh, for Windows tablets, they've built in a a whole different you know back end and it works beautifully for tablets now this is this is a big program it's not an app by any means 
you know, people, I think, expect things like this to work on tablets. And it's not built for that. It's not an app, you know. It's not like Sketchable or ArtRage or, you know, it's a full-blown application, you know, that's hundreds and hundreds of megs. You know, they've gone to the back end and they've rejigged it completely for the tablet devices. And I think um, Coral Painter 2016 now really, really works well and it's pretty beautiful on the on the tablet devices. So I think that's one reason to really revisit a device like, like the uh, Surface Pro 3 here. You know, now it's got Windows 10, which really pays attention it's the first operating system to really pay attention to the tablet devices and now we've got art packages like coral painter that really pay attention to tablet devices so for artists like us we can now really pay attention to da -da 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 -da, tablet devices which is pretty amazing so when I go away for a couple of days or a week I can take away my tablet device and I don't have to worry. I can use other programs like Sketchable here to really, you know, to really help me as well. Sketchable is an absolutely brilliant drawing app that is made purely for tablets like the Surface Pro here. Sketchable is amazing um, because it is an app rather than a full-blown program Sketchable is amazingly fast You know uh, this program while it while you think oh, it's only got this limited number of brushes here um, You know if I click on this brush and go to settings and just scroll through you see that these are all the settings for this one brush. And obviously, little down arrow I click. Oops. You can see the drop down menu for each setting as well. You know, and this program has layers and color wheel and everything else. And I could do pretty much anything. I could do a finished illustration in this. So. The Surface Pro 3, if you weren't interested before or you didn't think it had what it took, have a look again with Windows 10 and Coral Painter 16. Obviously Photoshop CC is always developing anyway. There is actually one more great thing you can do on the Surface Pro 3 uh, if you're an artist or if you're not an artist, which is you can actually check out my website. Um, <laughs> lawrenceman.co.uk um, yeah I've got free brushes on there and all of my artwork and links to a couple of other things as well so yeah always worth checking out there's my Facebook page links to many other things as well just there alright nice to see you well thanks for watching be sure to comment like and even subscribe to my channel, Lawrence Can Draw.